two-on-one just to hold it by itself is huge because if you just learn how to control the two-on-one, the rest of the scoring scenarios are easy and you can learn that, okay? So I'm gonna spend some time just showing you how to hold a two-on-one. So two-on-one, what you wanna do is a lot of people go deep yeah. and they think they have it tighter. That's not the case, okay? What you wanna do is not, not have your shoulder behind them. You wanna have your shoulder in front. Make sense? Yeah. So when you peel, you only wanna have, you wanna have a shallow. You only wanna have your wrist here, up on the armpit. And then what I do is I pull him back and put my shoulder in. Make sense? And now when I put pressure and when I bring my elbow down, that's when I can hold this. So right here, I should be able to hold this two on one really, really tight. Make sense? And this helps a lot too, okay? The reason I keep my elbow down is because a lot of guys, if I don't have this, they go under hooks, yeah. right? So the way to kind of gauge yourself and see if you do a good job of holding two on one is getting here, getting tough, pulling your elbow down, keeping your hips in and saying, okay, go under, go under hook now. And you're supposed to not let him get under hooks. And it's really hard to do it for us, but you can learn it. Make sense? The key again is when you get here, you hit him in the armpit, pull it back, keep your shoulder in front, bring the elbow down and keep your hips in right here. And I can guide him around the mat like this all day. Make sense? Yeah. But this is super like detailed. It might take you some time to learn it. Okay. But that's 100% where you want to start. Okay. Because if I show you like the other 100 moves there, you're not going to be able to do them if you don't know how to hold this. Yeah. Right? So. <clears throat> so yeah, we're here, here. That's it. No, not really. I'm here, I'm here. Just not down, because he can go, he can, well, like front headlock, yeah, yeah. Yep. Right, so I don't want to give that up. So my head's going to be up. But it doesn't matter if it's on the left side or on the right side, not really. <clears throat> Got it? Yeah. Okay, now, next thing. The two most, like, most popular, there's two or three most popular ways to score. And my, what I mean by popular is like, that work all the time is, first one is this, and it's difficult. I'm gonna start with the most difficult one, okay? Once they get here, a lot of guys fight the top hand, right? Or they try to like pull away from me, push my head maybe even, right? That's, I mean, everyone does that, okay? So the way for me to beat that is, um, yeah, even if I don't have that, that's okay. What I wanna do is I wanna beat this arm with my knee. So watch what I do, I come here. Notice, I don't just come here and let him grab it, well, he can, but just for right now, just stick with me. I'm here and I pull it in. See that? Okay. You see how I'm creating a bridge between this leg and him? Like my shoulder is on top of him. Yeah. Now I step and I push this down. Imagine this is like a knot down here. It's like a rope and a knot. And I want to put all my weight on the knot on top, right here. And I'm going to put it right on my knee. Okay. And now all I'm going to do is step a little bit enough just to move this leg and then take it off the mat again. And it's gonna keep getting a little bit heavier for him. How's it feel? Tight, heavy. Make sense? Yeah. This will probably work like 80% of the times. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the way we do it is, again, we're here, and he can. I can do it without an arm, because all I do is all I all, all I worry about is having my shoulder on him. That's where I keep the pressure. Okay. Right here. He have this. And same thing. Is it heavy? Yeah. Yeah. Come feel it. <clears throat> Can I do this one? Actually, in there. Yeah. 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 It's pretty heavy, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. The key is, a lot of you guys will tempt, will be tempted to go just sideways mm -hmm. on the arm. You don't want to do that. You want to go forward. So you want to make sure my arm is going like here. This is where it want to be stretched. This is where it's like the weakest. Okay. Here I'm kind of strong, but if you go forward and keep sliding forward, it gets really tough on my shoulder. Okay, come here again. <clears throat> so we're here, here, yeah, it doesn't matter. He can have my hand. And I just step, step in, because if I step and stay here, this kills all the pressure on him. So I don't want to have this leg on the mat. I just have it enough to move this one. And I take it off. And I take it off. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, you can try it on him. Go slow, super slow. You're sliding yep. down here? Yep, yes. Put, put, so hold on, you're not. Go super slow, get this off the mat. Don't be afraid to put pressure on him. Yes, now step enough to move forward and back off the mat. Off the mat, stay off the mat. Yes, that's what puts pressure on him. Make sense? Keep yeah. going forward, stretching him forward, forward. Yep, now stop, 
stop. Nope. Yep, you did the first mistake. Don't let go of this. Yeah. Because if you do, watch, this is what he's going to do. And stop you right here. Mm -hmm. Keep this in the mat, post all the weight on it, and put this one behind, you know, circle behind him. Yes. Like grabbing behind. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. That's good. Sure. That was tight. Sure.